Hi everyone, hope you are doing fine and welcome back to the channel. This is Ishita, the legal intern at LexClick. Today I'm gonna tell you all about the ad hoc judges of in high court. Recently, the Supreme Court pushed for the appointment of retired judges to the battle, the pendency of cases in high court. Key points. Supreme Court suggestion, guidelines for appointment of an ad hoc judge. The court orally outlined the prospective guidelines for the appointment and functioning of an ad hoc judge. Pendency beyond a certain limit. If in a particular jurisdiction, the pendency goes beyond a certain limit, say 8 or 10 years, the Chief Justice may appoint a certain retired judge with expertise in those fields of a law as an ad hoc judge. The term of such a judge could be extendable. The position, the Supreme Court appointment of an ad hoc judges would not be a threat to the service of other judges as the ad hoc judge will be treated as the junior most. Selection. The retired judges will be chosen on the basis of their expertise in a particular field of dispute and allowed to retire once pendency in that zone of law was over. Arguments for appointing the retired judges. The retired judges who had handled certain disputes in fields of law for over 15 years could deal with them faster if brought back into harness as an ad hoc judges. Related constitutional provisions, the appointment of retired judges was provided for in the constitution under Article 224A, appointment of retired judges at sittings of high court. Under the article, the Chief Justice of a High Court for any state may at any time, with the previous consent of the President, request any person who has held the office of judge of that court or any other High Court to sit and act as a judge of the High Court for that state. Reasons for pendency The government is the biggest litigant. According to Economic Survey 2018 and 2019, poorly drafted orders have re resulted in the contest is tax revenues equal to 4.7 of the GDP and it is rising. Less budgetary allocations. The budget allocated to the judiciary is between 0.08 to 0.09 percent of the GDP. Only four countries, Japan, Norway, Australia, and Ireland have a lesser budget allocation and they do not have problems of pendency like India. Practice of seeking adjournments. Usually, the lower courts seek adjournment ad infinitum. Lack of assessment. When a new legislation is formed, there is no judicial impact assessment done by the government on how much burden is going to be casted on the judiciary. Probabilities of creating more litigation or requirements of more judges is not taken into account. Delay in judicial appointment. Collegium. Recommendations have been pending with the government for over seven months to a year to get approval in order to fill the vacancies in high court. The total sanctioned judicial strength in the 25 high courts is 1080. However, the present working strength is 661 with 4019 vacancies as of March 2021. The government has quoted that it's the fault of Collegium and the High Court for delaying the process. What way forward? Streamlining the appointment systems, the vacancies must be filled without any unnecessary delay. The Constitution of India, all India judicial services is also an important factor which can definitely help to establish a better judicial system. Use of technologies to deal, with, to deal with the judicial officers need to be trained, vacancies for the judges must be filled up. And in addition, the use of technology, particularly artificial intelligence, must be encouraged. 
out of court settlements resolving every case within the court premises not mandatory other possible systems have also been accessed arbitration and conciliation act has been amendment three times which will be beneficial so guys that was all for today i hope you enjoyed the video please do like share subscribe the channel and comment down thank you